Welcome back to Go. A growing number of states are stockpiling abortion pills and drug makers are weighing in ahead of a court decision that may cut off access as soon as this weekend. The anti-abortion group that filed the Texas lawsuit is doubling down and conservatives are drawing up battle plans. NBC's Drew Petromo joins us live now from D.C. Drew, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Danielle and Isabel. This issue could be destined for the Supreme Court as two federal judges are at odds over the abortion drug that's causing major questions for the most common method of abortion in the U.S. Overnight, a group of anti-abortion doctors and medical organizations urging the Fifth Circuit Court to uphold a federal judge's decision to ban mifepristone. This comes one day after the Justice Department appealed the ban. The abortion opponents argue the FDA did not follow protocol when the abortion drug was approved nearly 25 years ago. They fast-tracked the approval without doing the due diligence that was required. A federal judge in Texas agreed and issued a nationwide ban on mifepristone set to take effect on Saturday. The goal of this lawsuit is to protect American women and girls from dangerous chemical abortion drugs. But there is broad agreement in the medical community that mifepristone Stone is safe, now the most common method of abortion in the U.S. And abortion rights supporters say that is why it's being attacked. What's going on here is that this is a backdoor ban on abortion. My thoughts are it's completely out of bounds what the judge did. The Texas court is at odds with a judge from Washington state who issued his own ruling the same day requiring access to mifeprestone to be maintained. I'm proud to announce that New York state will create a stockpile of misoprostol, another form of medication abortion. States like New York, California, Massachusetts, and Washington all stockpiling abortion drugs in anticipation of a drawn-out legal fight that could end up in the Supreme Court, another flashpoint over reproductive rights that will likely be a major issue in future elections. More than 600 drug companies and biotech leaders joining in the condemnation of that Texas ruling, issuing a scathing public letter accusing the judge of activism. Reporting from Washington, I'm Drew Petromo. Back to you. Drew, thank you. And what do we expect to happen over the next few days here? Yeah, we expect a lot of motions on both sides. The Biden administration and the Justice Department is asking for the Circuit Court of Appeals to issue a stay on the abortion ban out of Texas, essentially preventing it from going in, into effect while they continue to argue the case. If that doesn't happen, they're asking for that to be done on Thursday. If that doesn't happen again, this uh, ban is, is expected to go into effect over the weekend, although the Biden administration would almost certainly then appeal that to the U.S. Supreme Court. All right. Drew Petromo live for us in D.C. this morning. Drew, thank you.